It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Many of you have already known by now that State of Survival has dropped the new Resident Evil hero Olafur Einarsson, also known to some as Oli and some hey. others as Olaf. I hope my fellow Nordic survivors approves my pronunciation. If so, don't forget to like the video and give me a thumbs up. Since many of my fellow mammals already refer to him as Oli, I shall be doing the same so not to confuse you with Olaf. From what I know, in many states, Oli has been released without the ability to become limitless. Whereas on the flip side, in some states including mine, the full Oli has been unleashed allowing me to make him into limitless. Oli comes with 3 limitless skills to upgrade and it is a heck of a lot cheaper to max Oli out than Wolfie. Many of you message me asking me, my state does not have limitless heroes, should I rush to get Oli? My state has limitless generation 1 heroes of Nicholas. Maddie and Lucky. Should I rush to get Ollie? Is Wolfie stronger than Ollie? And many more. So in today's video, I'm going to try to answer some of these questions for you. As I'm not an official State of Survival sponsored content creator, thus I have to dig deep into my wallet for this experiment. I was able to max Ollie to level 4 resonating hero and I also max his limitless skills for $270. You will need 160 Ollie fragments to make him to resonating hero level 4. Then you would need another 355 Oli fragments to max his limitless skills. Therefore, in total, you will need 515 Oli fragments for unlocking him to resonating hero level 4, which will include maxing his limitless skills. You know what else do you need? Getting your bundles cheaper with Paxify. Paxify offers State of Survival players 10 to 25% discount in game. Many of you have seen price rises, and why pay more? when you can use Paxify to buy your bundles at a cheaper price. Thanks to their fast onboarding system, you can start making your purchases as soon as possible. Many of these top 100 solo power players are already saving themselves a heck of a lot of money using Paxify. So what are you waiting for? Make sure to check out the link in the description below and thank you to Paxify for sponsoring this video. Next, if you haven't noticed it already, Oli has an exclusive skill when resonated with Wolfie. It increases his skill impact and reminds me of Popeye when he has his spinach. That sounds overpowering already, but is it? So, your state does not have limitless heroes should you rush to get Ollie. From previous testing, we know that Kira is almost better than most of the infantry heroes in State of Survival. I used Gen 12 heroes as the base mark with Formation 60 2020 without any gorillas or airplane. Since I cannot replicate a perfect test environment, the results of these tests are my personal opinion. Some folks may have differing opinions and that's okay. As the base mark, Gen 12 versus Gen 12, 9,546 troops survived. Using this as the standard, Gen 12 with Kira resonated resulted in 9,204 troops survived. Finally, using Gen 12 with Oli resonated resulted in 9,375 troops survived. So therefore, in conclusion, as a general rule of thumb, Kira will continue to outperform Oli for those states without limitless heroes. Therefore, in my personal opinion, there is no need to rush to get Oli as of right now. Then, we come to the next big question. So, your state has the limitless Nicola, Maddie, and Lucky. Should you rush to get Oli? As the base mark, Gen 1 limitless versus Gen 1 limitless with formation 60 2020 without any gorillas or airplane, this resulted in 10,603 troops survive. Then, Gen 1 limitless with Oli resonated resulted in a freaking insane result. Oli won. Yes, Oli freaking won with 5,307. 7 troops survived. That's a huge, huge result. This is a significant game changer overnight. No wonder so many of you have been complaining about it. But are you surprised? This is state of bugs that you're playing. Finally, one last question for today's video. Is Wolfie stronger than Ollie? And the answer is sadly no. As the base mark, Gen 2 Wolfie Limitless versus Gen 1 Limitless with the same condition as the previous test resulted in 7,641 troops survive. Whereas, 
tests when Gen 2 Wolfie Limitless with Ollie Resonated resulted in the same freaking insane result. In addition to that, due to the stats difference, when resonated with Nicola, 6,402 troops survived. So, if you're a mid to high spender, why would you invest thousands of dollars to max out Wolfie's skills? You could just max out Wolfie's purple brains without the need to max out his skills, then resonate Ollie with you, giving you a freaking great impact. Sadly, I didn't have the opportunity to apply this, therefore, I have wasted some monies making two of Wolfie's skills to level 9. Right now, I feel extremely poop. But I hope for the rest of you out there, you can save some money. Only one final caveat. The developers may nerf Ollie's skills, like they did with Wako when he was extremely freaking insane insanely strong, and the various other overpowered and broken resonating heroes that they have released throughout the last few years. So please keep this in mind. Meanwhile, for those states without limitless heroes, in my personal opinion, for most situations, Kira will continue to outperform Ollie. So I really don't see a reason why you should rush for Ollie right now. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please do smash that subscribe button, leave a comment, and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.